So the next, this, this video will focus more on upper body. And so for this one, if you have some weights, that would be great to have. Um, if you have, uh, especially if you have a light weight, like two or three pounds, and a heavier weight, like 10 pounds. You know, if you only have a combination like five pounds, then um, I, you can always double up the weights, meaning hold both weights in one hand, possibly. Um, or just use the five pounds. So um, we're gonna start with some rotator cuff work. And so again, not a super heavy weight workout. I'm gonna use a three pound weight. You could use a two pound weight. You don't even have to use a weight. For this one, we're gonna come lying on our side and we'll start, um, if you've got something to prop your head up, you can use that. I'm just kind of lying my head on my hand here. Um, I'm gonna take my um, weight right at my waist and my elbow and upper arm are gonna stay nice and snug into my upper body. And I'm going to open the door and close the door. So I'm gonna do 12 of these. <clears throat> you wanna really try to keep your elbow at 90 degrees. It's kinda, you gotta kinda watch that. You wanna keep your wrist straight and you'll start to feel this more along your upper back and also probably right in this rotator cuff area, which is right here. Now, if there's pain there, don't do this. So what we're trying to do is certainly not work through pain. Um, we wanna in increase the movement and increase the strength in that area. So if there's pain at any point, like let's say if you come all the way up, there's pain, but you can only lift this high, then only lift that high. And you'll see over time, again, movement is so critical, especially, um, well, all over, but our shoulders, uh, our shoulder girdle um, needs movement. And, you know, it's not an area we naturally move a lot until you have to. And then sometimes you're like, wait a minute, I can't even lift my arm over my head. So you want to keep the juice flowing, basically. And that's what this is all about. And then when you've done like 10 to 12 on that, with that arm, you're gonna change arms. And this is where a pillow would be nice. But, um, I, and again, I'm gonna have my hand, my arm in front of me at 90 degrees, my elbow is bent. I'm gonna just open the door or close the door and open. So again, I'm drawing up and down. Now this one, you're gonna feel more in the front of your shoulder, like the top of your shoulder. And again, you'll know the difference, right, between pain and really just work. So um, if it's so painful that you're dreading it, then don't like, let's say, if I only go down that far, only go down that far then. It'll probably, if, if you do have pain, it'll be at the ends of the cycle. So it'll be either at the, um, here at the bottom or the other one at the top. And again, we'll do 10 to 12 of these. These are again, really nice. Also, you can also add these to your activation work. You can do these every day. Um, and I, and um, some you don't wanna do every day, right? Most, most, most of the time strength work we're gonna do every other day. But these kind of lightweight um, shoulder work, rotator cuff work, you could do this every day. Okay, then you're gonna switch sides. So now what I like to do is because I was just doing this arm, I'm gonna switch and do my other arm, even though I'm starting at the bottom. <laughs> So again, I'm gonna move it up and open it. And open it. So this is where if you had a little pillow, it would be nice. And same kind of thing here, we wanna exert. I mean, exhale on the exertion phase. The other thing you might start to feel with some of these, um, maybe they're new exercises to you with the light weight, is you might start to feel like some heat generating. And that's okay. That's kind of a good sign. You're, you're warming things up. You're maybe stirring things up that didn't, didn't get a lot of action before. But it's that, that sharp pain that you wanna avoid. 
and then we'll take the other arm. So you'll again have your upper arm snug into your body, elbows at 90 degrees, and you'll open and close. And you'll exhale to open and close. So I know these aren't the most exciting of exercises, but what you can do actually make it a little more exciting, uh, of course, playing music, <laughs> but also drawing, finding other things to engage here. That belly, remember we talked about the core activation before. You find that here. What does that feel like? Can I also find more of the squeeze in my shoulder blades as I bring the arm up? Always exhaling on the exertion, exertion phase. So if you're at 10 to 12, go ahead and stop and come on up. And we're going to work a little bit heavier weights um, if you've got them. So we'll do some single arm rows. So I'm going to use a 10 pound weight. I'm going to come and stand with one and a split stance kind of in a lunge. So one foot is in front of the other and my feet are about hip distance apart to give myself some stability. I'm going to lean forward, put my I've got my, the weight in my left hand, my right arm is gonna be on my right thigh and knee. The, the left wrist is just gonna hang down so the wrist is right in line with the shoulder. My gaze is forward, I'm gonna engage the core. And then I'm gonna exhale and draw the elbow up. Inhale, draw it back down. So you're kind of drawing it up and back a little bit, like you're, like you're lifting something, which that's what this is great for. So. Remember in the activation work, we found, we activated the upper back, those sh that shoulder blade area, that's what we wanna feel here. A little squeeze at the top. Lift, little pause, take it back down. Exhale, take it back down. Again, we'll do like 10 to 12 here. And then we'll take the other side. So you'll take now your left foot in front if you if you have your weight in the right hand, leaning forward. You want to be in a nice line here. So notice if you're bending at your waist, we want to keep our waist actually not bent, <laughs> straight. So we hip hinge, it's called. And then draw the elbow back. Think engage through that upper back first. So remember those shoulder shrugs we did. You went down and back, keep it back. The tendency will be to let your shoulder come forward and draw out of that place. So we wanna keep the, the shoulder blades drawn together as we lift. Drawing it straight back. Again, engaging the core. Down 10 to 12 here. You can come on back up and we'll move on to our next exercise, next strength builder, which is going to be a tricep, overhead tricep press. So for this one, you're going to take the weight in both hands, or take the weight with both hands, yeah, and take it over your head. Now, this is where if you've got two smaller weights, you can always use those and hold them. And then I'm going to keep my elbows kind of close to my ears. I'm going to let the weight come back. Inhale, exhale, shoot it to the ceiling. Inhale, draw it back. Exhale, shoot it to the ceiling. Inhale, draw it back. Exhale, shoot it to the ceiling. Now, real important here to engage the core. Real important to notice what's happening to your upper back. So the movement is isolated to the tricep. So the only thing that's moving is really the forearm, right? To as much as you can, try to not have other movement. The movement can come, sometimes accidentally, by arching the back and then trying to like heave the weight up. So try to keep everything else really engaged, really still. Inhale down, exhale up, inhale down, 
exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, great. And one of the things you can do is if you've got a BOSU, especially like for that tricep, you could stand on the BOSU and then do the tricep here, which will certainly challenge your balance a little bit more. And that can be something to add a little more intensity if you have something like a BOSU. No big deal if you don't. So the next thing we're going to do are some chest presses. So um, for chest press, you're gonna want two, we'll, we'll do a double chest press with, with one weight in each hand. So you'll take your weight, you'll come to your back, and it's just like a push-up in reverse. Now push-ups are great to do, and you can also just throw in some push-ups instead. But sometimes push-ups are a little um, stretch, straining on the shoulder. So pressing up, inhaling back down. So I'm just gonna press my wrist right on top of my shoulders. As if I were on the floor, I'd press straight up. Trying to keep the wrist straight and aligned right over the shoulders. Pressing up. And again, another great place, great chance to engage through that core. Inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Inhaling down, exhaling up. Again, doing 10 to 12. You know, if you happen to have lighter weights, you might try 12 to 15. We really want to get to the point where um, you're feeling that, again, that muscle gets a little tired or gets a little harder. An indication that it's time to stop for sure is if you feel like you're really struggling against the weight. And then draw the weights in. Go ahead and set them down. Our last upper body work is going to be our overhead press. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do this overhead press. It's um, a great move for your shoulders. So for the overhead press, one way is to have the elbows in close, okay? And then I'm gonna exhale, press the arms up. Inhale down. Exhale, press up. Inhale down. Again, like we were saying with tricep, Keep everything else still if you can. Lift through the core. You can also do this on the BOSU. That adds a challenge. You can also take your elbows wide. This will cause a little more, perhaps, strain in the shoulder, which is why if you have any strain in this way, come back to the elbows together. Do 10 to 12 of these in whichever format works. On BOSU, elbows wide, elbows narrow always engaging the core, exhaling as you lift, inhaling down, exhaling as you lift, inhaling down. 10 to 12 here. And then go ahead and go back and repeat that whole sequence one more time. And then once you're done, um, I'm gonna add a little bit of, we'll, we'll, I have a full video on stretching, but in case this is the only one you're doing. For a little stretch work, go ahead and take your hands behind you, interlace your fingers, or take your hands to your low back. Something that lets you really just open the chest. Another great one is, and I'll show you, is if you have the BOSU, is to just lie on the BOSU. That <laughs> just gets it all done for you. Drawing your chest open, inhaling, and exhaling, and then taking one arm across, lightly holding, right below the elbow. As you draw this arm across, draw the shoulder away from the ear. Getting a stretch through the back of the top of the arm. Holding each stretch for maybe 10 to 15 seconds. Longer if you've got it. And then take the other side. In the video, that's the final video to do the stretching. We'll, we'll hold the stretches a little longer. And then our tricep stretch, you're just gonna take one hand behind, take two fingers and lightly hold this elbow back. And you just let the upper arm come down, stretching through the tricep, so the back of the top of the arm now. And then take the other side. Great, so thanks. Uh, Enjoy the rest of your day or workout, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.